earthbound. She's not, you know, you still keep the roundness, but you're, yeah, that's it. One, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah. She looks more interesting in a little more forward collected trot. Yeah, that's better. And then when she has that nice activity from behind, it's a lot easier to put her together. Yeah. Uh, she needs to be more collected. More on the hind leg. And in order to build that, I would do tempo transitions. A little forward, a little back. Make sure that she comes back over her hind leg. Yeah, ride shoulder four as you ride straight. Get her to connect to the left rein. Yeah, so that looks more like a medium canter down the long side. Oh, that's medium. Okay. Yeah. Good. Da da dum, da da dum, da da dum. I don't think she'll have a problem going forward in the test for you. No, no, yeah. No. Good. That's it. You shorten your rein a little bit as well, and then you'll have a better half halt to come through. Mm -hmm. Good. Shoulder four. Uh-huh. Yeah. When you ride your side, that's what you want to always be able to stay in is that shoulder four for straightness. Collect there. She's too free. Halt. They half halt left rein to bring her back. So she comes back over the hind leg that she accepts this. Yeah. Good. And then you can let, if she gives you a nice feel, then you can let her go out a bit. Let the canter get a bit bigger. Good. This would be extended. Yeah, and you have to be able to bring her back without the pulling and the tension, right? Mm -hmm. That's why you want to keep bringing these smaller circles into it. So 15 meter canter circles, 10 meters evolve into a 10 meter circle. Left rein, collect, outside rein, outside rein. Everything starts with your inside leg. Then half halt outside rein. Yeah, that's how you're going to help her get that outside rein to come through the hind leg. Good. Yeah, and collect left rein. Right. And bend more for half pass. And for me, I would, yeah, for training, I would actually do it on a training diagonal. Oops. Did you ask for that? Yes. Okay. It was late behind. Yeah. She, yeah, she's not allowed to pull. When she pulls, that's when she can come late behind, right? She has to stay. Don't let her pull you over the thigh blocks. Half halt. If she's pulling you over the thigh block, she's on the forehand. Right. Oh, ride a small circle. Use a small circle to get her back on the hind leg. Yeah on the hind leg and keeping the activity. So making the small circle to basically rebalance her, but without losing activity. It's not about slowing down the canter, it's about rebalancing it. Good, half halt, outside rein. Good, that's it, there. Yeah, when you, sl when you collect her more, the canter quality improves. Uh-huh, and half halt, and collect. So yeah, collect, that you could slow the speed down, but not the activity or ground coverage, I should say, right? Yeah, good. Kind of like how you guys practice rollbacks, hey? They have to come back and turn easily. Good. Yeah. And she has to be uh, more on the hind leg so that when you go to half pass, she can carry the bend. Otherwise, she's just going to pull you across the half pass. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I would do Traver in the canter to start. So down alongside Traver. Keep that canter. So you know the first couple of strides into your canter? That's the canter you want to be able to stay in. Yeah, so Traver now from E to K down the long side. Bend a little, give, bend a little, give. Good, and then straight. And now try from F to C. Supple, good, supple. Look at C, ride for, turn the shoulder to C, like you're riding a diagonal, Zorro. No, turn the shoulders. 
Now do traver and keep the shoulder. Yeah, you look in the mirror, you see that? Yeah. So you want to turn like a diagonal as though there's a physical wall between those two letters, right? There you wrote it as though you were plowing through the wall. Good, now collect a little bit more. Can I call you back when I'm done teaching? Yeah, take the shoulder more. Yeah, take the look in the mirror. Yeah, sit to the inside. Go with your horse. Right. And then she has to allow the bend, okay? Shoulder has to come to the inside. Good. And collect more. Half alt, set her back. Right. It's hard for her, hey? Yeah, and half alt. Good. It's good for her though. Mm -hmm. Outside, outside rain there. Don't let her if she twists her nose to the right. There was no outside rain, is oral. Yeah, and check the reins aren't too long. Don't ride back here. Okay. Ride in the front seat of the car. Good. Shoulder four. Okay, sorry, yeah, that's it. And with, yeah, there, good. You get a reaction from that outside leg, good job. Yeah, and supple to the inside. Good. Supple and give. That you don't have to hold her there with your inside rein. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? That she connects still to the outside rein. At first, when we ride uh, uh, half past, we ride a lot outside leg, inside bend. But eventually, when they're really on the hind leg balance, you should be able to release this inside rein. And they support and carry themselves without letting everything fall apart like a house of cards. Uphill, yeah, supple inside give, supple inside give. Right, supple left, supple left. A uh, right, sorry, yeah, supple right. There, now collect, collect, whoa. Circle, 10 meters, whoa. Collect, whoa. Yeah, whoa. Yeah, right, that she has to sit and carry, left ring, there. There, you feel the shift. She needs to keep that balance. And Good. The, the other one for I need to release, I'll basically do the 20 meter circle like this. Yeah. And then when I'm here. To stretch? Yeah, oh, for that again. circle? Yeah. Yeah, you want to, the, normally you give here, you don't want them to fall on the forehand though. Okay, so you don't, you don't want to go on a two point. No, I don't want you to go on the two point. I don't want you or her to go on the forehand. Because you're going to be sitting in the in the canter, right? And you're going to be sitting back. You're going to be in more self-carriage. This Basically, it's it's looking to show that you can ride your horse for a moment in self-carriage. Uber striking, right? That you're able to give the rein for three to four strides, I think they say. Be over the open side of the circle. And she should stay in balance. She should